Yeah, really, siding with New Yemen gives you, like, nothing interesting. Uh, Alright, so Comlands... Uh, is not nothing new there, so Mount Gagazette should have new stuff, and the Mountain Gate, but not at the Hot Springs. Nothing new at the Hot Springs! Hey, it's this dude. Guado Meester once steal life of many brave Ronzo. Uh, Meester. Hatred of Guado unite angry Ronzo. Hatred of Guado forces to mispronounce their titles. Not allow revenge on Guado. Mountains they hate never unite Ronzo. Mountain wrong Guado in this case, but. Lost Ronzo youth. Let's ball. Answer me, Sphere. Seriously, Blitzball! You guys should become better at Blitzball! The Ronzo Beasts... Uh, no, Killicad the Beasts. The Ronzo were like... I don't even remember what the Ronzo team is called. Somebody help me out on this one. Um, but, uh, no, they actually were like the shittiest fucking team <laughs> when you're playing uh, Blitzball in Final Fantasy X. They're, they're pretty awful. The Killicad Beasts are even worse, actually. But, uh, they're, well, because they're slow. I mean, they've got really good stats as far as like you get any confrontation and you're trying to like tackle them to get the ball you can't you have to poison them to get the ball away from them ever but they're just awful awfully slow uh so you can always like corner them with like three different guy defenders all right so back to it here oh, i'm not sure if we should be watching this You're gonna go spoon with Kamari? Is that where this is going? Elder Kamari, protect mountain. Uh. Now, Ronzo youth, not worry. Ronzo youth, go to Yuna's concert. <laughs> For Ronzo, that's the most <laughs> voice ever. Me use Ronzo syntax, but not have Ronzo vocal patterns otherwise. He's the Ryuta of the Ronzos. Yup, yup. Yup, yup. What the? Oh, it's all covered in snow. Yuna's easily mystified. Snowed in. Could have done a better job cleaning it off. So that's kind of amusing, I guess. We, uh, yeah, I was thinking there was more with Kamari. Apparently, there's nothing more with Kamari. So our remaining, uh, Comms for dialogues to look forward to or with frickin' uh, Saru. Hey. Maybe it is the Killika Beast, although they had female players that we haven't really seen. Going to the concert, Kamari. Catch you later, dude. Kamari swear oath on day. Kamari meet young Yuna. Kamari always protect Yuna. Well, I know she's Kimari all old. is Yuna's shield. Kamari not fear anyone. Uh, but Both I'm not really. I'm not really being protected you by you no anymore. Longer need shield, but Ronzo do. Ronzo need meat shield. Kimari swear oath again. New oath give Kimari new strength. Okay, thanks for the update, Kimari. <laughs> We're gonna go to the concert now. Poor Kimari. Kimari was um. One of my favorite characters, even without my goofy, like, oh, I'm gonna do a werewolf, Lord River. Even without that, he was a fun character in the last game. In this game, not a lot of joy in Kamari. Not that Kamari was known for being the joyous character in the last game either, but more than some characters, he really suffers in this game, I think. Oren, smartest character of all. Super awesome badass in X. And then. Has a good sense to die so that they can't wreck him in the sequel. Hey! Kimari not fight Guado. Ronso youth think Kimari coward. But they're wrong! But Kimari's eyes are clear. 
Kimari bear elder responsibility with wisdom. Ronso see Kimari and begin to see truth. Would you like any input from strength me? Strength of Ronso is strength to avoid battle, not strength in battle. Well, you shouldn't you have both? I thought we were gonna have a heart to heart. I mean, you're like the the lady love of my oldest friend, literally my oldest friend. And uh, like, yeah, she actually knew Kamari before she knew uh, Walk on Lulu. So Kamari is her oldest friend, and Chapu, of course. But uh, nope, no, uh, nothing to say to that lady. Who uh, I don't know, maybe I'm reading too much into it, but I think it's implied in the the subtle little ways you're gonna get in this game. Um, well, they're not that subtle about a lot of things, but I think I mean we see her hanging around with Kamari pretty much all the time. I think we're supposed to put two and two together and make uh, make one, if you know what I'm saying. That's right, buddy. Come on over here. Tell me what's going on. Ronso, find new path to follow. Glad to hear it. Snowy mountain wind make path hard to see. Ronso, youth must search for unseen path to future. Yeah, they're trying to get help from Tobu. It's kind of pathetic. And I believe that's it. We'll try one more time, just in case. But I think that's it, and we can move on to Xanarkin Ruins and be done with Homospheres for the duration of this playthrough. And though this kind of looks new. That's not how you guys are supposed to be doing it, you know. I guess it's foreplay, maybe, but you're supposed to move on from that at some point. Is he coming back around? Did the footfalls just take forever to die? I'm surprised I was able to... I'm surprised the camera zooms that far, and it looks like he's still over there, actually. All right, well, I think this is it, then. I think we're done with, um... The Anakin Com Spheres. Or, uh, Mount Gag, is that, rather? All right, so Xanarkin, uh, one, two, three, and, uh, then... There's an un unknown number here. There's three that, uh, Split Infinity describes, and then he says nothing else of interest, which might mean that there's more that just does not to, to really see. So, we'll do four three that were described, and then we'll see what the, the last one is. Hey guys, what's up? Selling tickets there, uh, our fellow friend? Yuna. Yep. Hello. The Hypello told me the news. You're having a concert? Yep, I spanked you Using in a battle before, just spirit. reminding you. Is that it? I know you can do it. I wish or I could rather, do something. You're the only one of us who could do that. Good luck, Yuna. Oh, we should have all the washed up uh, loser summoners get together and form a band. I'm going to go set myself on fire and breathe my last. Kane style. Alright. One more time. Man, this video is getting really long now. But now, nah, I gotta knock it out now. Using Machina to talk like this still doesn't feel right to me. Get over it! Working with Sid, I did get used to the idea, but I have my doubts. Get over Maroda it. Maroda often laughs at me and says I'm behind the times. He's right. We talked with Maroda using one of these. He's in Bevel. It's awesome, dude. Bevel? Really? How is Bevel these days? It's not looking too good. They can't find anyone to lead in place of Barrelai. And the city's been destroyed. I wouldn't be surprised if they tried to push some of their problems on you, High Summoner. They already did. Well, what would they expect me to do? I had no idea things had gotten so bad. Perhaps I will take control of Bevel. Thank you for telling me. But now I'm just gonna unzip my pants and urinate on fire if you don't mind cutting off. So I guess it's meant to imply that Asaro's gonna 
pull away from this, like, sad echo of his former dream and go back to Bevel and try to do some good, which is, you know, nice, I guess. Minor character getting some kind of arc, some kind of dynamic motion where he's going to end up something, someplace different than he started out in this game. Perhaps I should get a cup to protect my junk. I think that's it for that. And I think that actually counted for... Nope. He's saying maybe I cut off early. It says that counts for points, but we're still at sexy, sexy 69. So again, I think some of these things that uh, are marked in the fact as counting for points are like fractions of a percent, which makes it really tough to tell if it's even accurate. So... For the description, there's like nothing of interest now, so we'll just do a quick, quick sweep. Irish sweep, Irish sweep. See, we got like ladies dancing, unless they actually have dialogue when you zoom in. That was a high pillow up there too. This is way more interesting than what happened before. Okay, not really. All right, so that's it. I think uh, I think we are done forever with the calm spheres. I was going to try to sneak in three videos tonight, but this one has gone a little long, unless I'm completely thrown off on my time. And, um, I think I just need to cut off my little session here. So, uh, I'm calling it, and when we come back, we will actually advance the plot. Uh, there is one more silly minigame to do that I recall, and then I think there might be, like, a side mission involving setting up the concert. But we're essentially ready for the vaunted concert of Yuna. I'm thinking. Probably won't get to it next video. Might be the video after, but wow, this one went way long. Hmm. You know what? You know what? You know what? I am going to uh, just carry this on for another couple of minutes here and uh, and split the video after the fact. I think that's the best use of my time. I'm trying to actually get in enough recording to have coverage for a couple of days, but uh, this this has gone over length by enough that I think I'll split after the fact. So. And that'll render some of my little comments I've made here and there about, oh, I'm going to get them all in, this will be the last video, all that will be rendered invalid, but you know what, you guys can do. So, I'm going to have to flip back to the fact and see what do I want to actually do next. To go to the end, I have to find Riku, because I talked to everybody except Riku. Riku was hanging out with Barkeep. So, in fact, that is the next thing I should do. I just saved. And uh, I've got a mini game coming ahead where the better you do, the better your reward. So, in fact... It was a good idea to save, even if, um, sorry, uh, I was checking the fact I didn't mean to, to, to get into a creepy leer pose here. But in fact, um, I don't think there's a reason to go to the deck. Let's go to the deck real quick. I wanted to watch that pillow jump to the death. They do have nice wind effects when you're up here. Anyway. Yeah, but there's, um... If I remember this minigame correctly, um... You can kind of cheese it. Like, if you play it the way that the game instructs you to play it, it's potentially challenging. But if you just cheese it, it's, uh... You just get the best possible score every time. Oh, Yuna's just so freaking happy. Rehearsal starting. Miss Yuna and Miss Riku are nervous about their performance in the concert. Press X, circle, triangle, and square in time with the beat and help them get over their stage fright. Riku doesn't look that upset at, or nervous at all. But anyway, it's like, uh, you should watch the note and note symbols. You'll get four points for dancing in time with the red ones. If you press the same button as Miss Riku, your groove will go through the roof. Yeah, so it's just... It's like this shitty wannabe Dance Dance Revolution game, basically. 
But essentially how it works is um, hey, Uni, hurry up and change. there's no penalty at all for hitting buttons at the wrong time, which means that you just want to smash all the buttons. <laughs> like This is not how you're supposed to do it, but I'm going to get the maximum score here. And apparently hitting the buttons keeps changing camera angles, <laughs> which is why... Uh, <laughs> It appears that Michael Bay is editing the Yuna side, and the Riku side is actually just a fairly continuous kind of shot. <laughs> this is so stupid. Yep, so, um, the rewards per the fact are 0 to 49 points, Pearl Necklace, 50 to 99 you get Safety Bit, 100 to 149 sublimator and over 150 points smooth sailing. So the best reward you can get is for getting over 150 points and I got 617 because this game is completely broken. Um, sync points were surprisingly high considering I was slamming the buttons like mad. But I got the best possible reward and I got over four times the score you needed to get that reward because the game is broken. It's almost time. Do you think people will show up? Nah, it's gonna be a complete bust, you I'm sure betcha. of it. The Thunder Plains will be packed. With fiends. But what are you gonna sing? Um I guess one person having a charm bag will be enough to protect the whole crowd. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Riku, stop acting like that's good. My She's just humming. It's more like I felt it. She's like humming tunelessly, Riku. Len? I think so. It's I don't know much about her. It's but Len. I'm learning more and more. Don't call me Len, you little prick. I'm a bishop. Keep pouring in. It's like it's like I can feel what she was feeling. Bits and pieces That's pouring. So you're mix mashing your metaphors. Something like that? Shut up, Riku. Hey, that was poetic. <laughs> we'll be arriving soon. After Buddy drops us off, he and the others will go pick up the spectators. Now it's time for my so dancing minigame. You got it. Means we'll be trapped fighting monsters in some pre-scripted mission event. It's gonna suck. But just deal with it. I think I already rested, but let's be on the safe side. What can I, do for you? I want another smooth sailing accessory. Sleep tight. So smooth sailing. This, the name of the accessory is meant to imply it's like a high pillow silliness, zaniness. Let's double check what it actually does. Actually, you know what? The description for this one doesn't even explain. So I will explain. Because I remember this one. It's been a bit odd one. Oh, and by the way, they're all samurai because off screen I uh, had a session. I may or may not have actually already described this, but I had an off screen session where I had everyone master or mistress, if you prefer, ooh, the berserker class uh, because that one was going to be really useful at one point in the game, and I wanted to have like the by far the most expensive skill to get in this class is evade and counter. So I went ahead and got that so that we could use it when the time came. And uh, me and Mother working on Samurai. Um, pretty much all of them. But um, the new accessory we got, which I think, yeah, it's considered a gold accessory. Protects against all status ailments, but it's Hypello, so dot, dot, dot. Uh, if you equip it, you get... Well, let's equip it instead of the adamantite, just for a moment. Like if you, well, I won't even equip it. I'll just show you. If you equip it ribbon, you get ribbon. If you equip, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? If you equip smooth shaling, you get super ribbon, which is a weird name because what super ribbon is, as far as I can make out, is you're immune to all status ailments, just like you are with Ribbon. 
but you have auto slow. Like you are always in in the slow status. Um, so maybe there are status effects that Ribbon doesn't protect you against that Smooth Sailing does, and the penalty is that you are slowed. But I think it's just an inferior version of Ribbon, even though it's called Super Ribbon. I would have called it Ribbon Plus, letting it be implied that the plus is a good thing, when in fact the plus is a bad thing. It's Ribbon Plus slow. Anyway, we will save again, and uh, I may have done enough jaw jacking that that plus the minigame brought us up to an hour for what I was thinking was going to be one video and will now turn out to be two. Let me check real quick and see if I've actually gotten us to that point. No, I need another eight minutes. Alright. So we'll go ahead and uh, just kind of keep progressing here, I guess. Um... Talk to MN or Bro. Who is MN? That came up before. Um, wow. I guess. Um, I think MN might be Buddy. I don't know why the heck they're calling him MN. If you're worried about Spirit, you can always check the Conspirators. No! I have a bunch of scouts going to rock. I wonder how the advertising is going. Oh, I want to rock right now. My name's too none. I can't get down. We're over the Thunder Plains. So you are MN. We're flying over the Thunder Plains. Are you ready to land? Sure. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hopefully I can find a place to save in the next eight minutes or I'll really screw things up. Go wings in the hits ass. We're going to the concert on the Thunder Plains. Let's make sure the place is safe. Sure. Yay. Hello, Darwin. Good to see you. Are you ready to sing your song? What is Riku in that high pillow? Yeah, what are they doing? More or less. You ready? To sing your song, yes. Yeah, shitty situation. Some fiends have shown up to snack on the spectator tour. Many have died. And the world goes dark as I'm forced to speak to Hypello. Oh, I really hope we got to save Sphere. Otherwise, I just got to try to knock this thing out fast. But we're going to go straight into cinematics when this is over. I'm almost sure of it. Mr. Fiends crawled out from beneath the earth. Exterminated so concert goers can listen to your song without any distraction. Free concert hurt fest time. Spectators arriving, but it's still too to let them pass. Yes. Well, we've got a place to save our game. Looking forward to strong. Yes, looking forward to the strong. Looking forward to my strong. And we've got treasure chests. These, this is where we get our rewards from the tower calibration game. So echo screen times six. And I guess I gotta search carefully to make sure we don't miss any of these. I think that was the reward. Maybe that comes later. Huh? X potion. It's unbelievably big fiend, baby, even bigger than the shoe puff. Nothing's bigger than a shoe puff, believe me, buddy. I've been searching for someone bigger than a shoe puff. Uh, sorry. <coughs> sorry. That wasn't even close to being appropriate, JG. Yep. Just gonna spend eight minutes looking for treasure chests, I think fight the boss in the next video. The boss, uh, if I'm remembering correctly, is a species of fiend that I've actually beaten up on routinely as part of the uh, creature creator um, off-screening to get levels and AP, so I'm not not terribly worried about how that boss fight's going to go. Um, seem to be instructing me to go in there. 
There's a big fiend inside. Are you sure you're ready to go in? Well, maybe I'm not. Maybe I want to come up here and uh, get more treasure chests. Don't seem to be more treasure chests going this way. Now, here we go. I knew there was more. There's supposed to be one for each of the uh, towers. Glass buckle. Somebody who's been paying more attention than me can uh, can let me know if I get less than ten treasures out of all this. Phoenix down times four. That may or may not be associated with a uh, with one of these towers. That seems like a pretty shitty prize. I mean, I know for some of these I'm not getting the best prize because I didn't I didn't do perfect calibration. I just got it good enough to uh, get the Garmin grid. Anyway, yeah, I need to get to bed. So let's. Um find these treasures and get the F on of that, uh, you know what I'm saying. Thank goodness for the charm bangle. I think we're running up on the edge of where we're allowed to go here. Well, oh, fiends are here, spectators need that, nothing to do, so I might as well dance. Uh, sure, uh, that makes sense. Yeah, I'm wondering if I'm not missing a bunch of treasure chests. I'm your turbo winner. We will fight forever. Did I catch a glimpse of a no. Doctor Spectres are here, but the fiends are strolling around too. Well, here, but it won't help us with fiends on the main page. <laughs> Guy pumping his fist in glory doesn't uh, count as someone we can talk to. Alright, well, I'll head back down here and save, and I think then I can probably just call the video and uh, take out the fiend next time. I would take out the fiend this time, but I'm not sure if beating that isn't going to lead us straight into, like, 30 minutes of uh, cutscenes in which Yuna has her god awful concert. The one thing I remember about this concert is that I actually really did think that uh, LeBlanc's concert, when she was pretending to be Yuna, was much better. Pretty sure Yuna's concert is supposed to be better. That's like the canonical thing, but uh, yeah, LeBlanc actually had a much better song. And now I know the boat is on the river. Kind of hoping there'd be a treasure chest sitting in here. Do you guys just live here, basically? Or? We see fiends around here all the time, but that thing was huge. What is your need? Your offer is my need. <laughs> Sorry. There's an kind of fiends on the loose. It's got a big caboose. Score 54, where are you? Alright. So yeah, maybe uh, holding our concert in an area full of fiends wasn't a good idea after all. So we're going to save, I'm going to call it a video, I'm going to have to remember to split it after the fact, and Bob's your own. Pretty much. Alrighty. Uh, yeah, so next time, folks, we have uh, one little battle, a uh, cursory battle, and then we are ready to do a ridiculous J-pop concert. I'm Mr. CG. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.